elections. So since 2000, we have had some really interesting election cycles. We've had close races, we've had contested races, we've had everything in between. So today I'm gonna look at election results from each state from 2000 up until the 2024 election. When we look at it, we're gonna see things such as how did the whole nation vote overall? How did each state vote? And we're gonna look at like the years broken down. So you'll see like how much of the state voted Democrat, how much voted Republican for each election since 2000. So let's dive into election results from each state since 2000. Before I dive into each state, I'm gonna explain what my chart here looks like. So you will see from 2000 to 2024, in this column, I have who won the national election this year. If it is red, it is a Republican, and if it is blue, it is a Democrat. In these columns, I'm gonna have who that state voted for. And then over here, I'm gonna have percentages and numbers. I'm not gonna dive into each state very deeply. We are just gonna look pretty quickly at each state's numbers. Looking at Alabama, you will see that Alabama has voted red in every election since 2000, and their percentage in voting towards the red has been at 58% or more for every election. Alaska, Alaska has also voted red in every election since 2000, but you will see that there is a gray on the screen now. So any state that had an other vote, such as a third party candidate that was about 5% or more, I added to the chart. Or if that other vote could have maybe swayed an election depending on how close it was. So in Alaska, you will see that red has won every election in Alaska by at least 55% or more. Arizona has voted red in every election since 2000, except for the 2020 election where they voted blue. Arizona's totals um, with their percentages have been a lot closer than the other two states, especially here in 2000 and 2020, when it was pretty much 50% to 50% with about an 11,000 vote difference. Arkansas has voted red in every election since 2000, with red winning by 53% or more every year. California. California has voted blue in every election since 2000, winning by at least 53% or more in every election since 2000. Colorado voted red in 2000 and 2004, and then since 2008, they have voted blue. Some of their elections were pretty close. Some of them um, were not so close, maybe like the 57% here to the 43%. But this collection back in, 20, um, in 2004 was pretty close, 52% to 48%. Connecticut has voted blue in every election since 2000, with blue winning by at least 55% or more in each election cycle. Delaware has also voted blue in every election since 2000, with blue winning in Delaware by 54% or more in each election cycle. So Florida voted red in 2000 and 2004, and then blue in 2008 and 2012, and then they've been red since 2016. So you will see that Florida has been pretty close most of the years to 2024 was the biggest gap with 57% to 43%. So you will see I added this 2% here for Florida. That is because this is the contested 2000 election, the hanging chads, with about a 500 vote difference from the red to the blue. So these 97,000 votes definitely could have shaken up this election. Georgia. So Georgia has voted red in every election except the 2020 election where they voted blue. You will see since 2008, the Georgia election has been pretty close every single year, especially here in 2020 when it was a difference of about 11, 12,000 votes. But if you look back in 2000, 2004, it was a little bit bigger of a margin for the red winning in Georgia. Hawaii, so Hawaii has voted blue in every election since 2000 by at least 54% or more, with, them, with blue winning by 73% in 2008. Idaho, so Idaho has voted red in every election since 2000, with at least 63% or more of the vote going towards red. Illinois, Illinois has voted blue in every election since 2000, with at least 55% or more of the vote going towards blue in every election. Indiana, so Indiana has voted red in every election except 2008 when they voted blue, but it was a very close election. It was 51% to 49%, where all the other years that red won, it was, of, it was by 55% or more. Iowa, so Iowa voted blue in 2000, 
red in 2004, blue in 2008 and 2012, and they have voted red since 2016. So the 2000 and the 2004 elections in Iowa were very close, pretty much 50% to 50%. 2008 and 2012, they were 55 and 53% to the blue. And then 16, 20, and 24 have been a red win with 55%, 54%, and 57%. Kansas. Kansas has voted red in every election since 2000, with red winning by at least 57% or more in each election. Kentucky has also voted red in every election since 2000, with red winning by 58% or more in every election. Louisiana has also voted red in every election since 2000, with red winning by 54% or more in every election. Then we switch to blue. So Maine has voted blue in every election since 2000, with blue winning by 52% or more in every election, with this 2016 race being the closest. Now, you will see that there are numbers here. That is because Maine splits. They do two of their votes for the overall winner of the state, and then they split their other two votes with the congressional district. So how each congressional district voted. So you can see in 16, 20, and 24, the Democrats, the blue, got three of their votes, and then the red would have gotten one of their votes. If you want to know more about this congressional district method of voting, I do have a video on that. Maryland has also voted blue in every election since 2000, with blue getting at least 57% or more of the vote in each election. Massachusetts has also voted blue in every election since 2000, with blue getting at least 61% or more of the vote since 2000. Michigan. So Michigan voted blue for 2000, 2004, 2008, and 2012. And then they voted red in 2016, blue in 2020, and then red again in 2024. So you will see that some of these elections have been really close, especially the 2016 election. It was pretty much 50% to 50% with about an 11,000 vote difference. Minnesota. So Minnesota has voted blue in every election since 2000, but only it hasn't been a, a, wide, a wide gap. So you can see like 51%, 52%, 51%. So these elections in Minnesota have been closer than say the elections were in like Maryland or Massachusetts. Mississippi, so Mississippi has voted red in every election since 2000 with red winning by at least 56% or more in every election. Missouri has also voted red in every election since 2000, but some of these elections have been really close. You had a pretty much a 50% to 50% here with about a 4,000 vote difference. You had 48 to 52 here. So the, it hasn't been a blowout for the red. Now, I will say the past three election cycles, it has been 60%, 58%, and 59% to the red, but it hasn't always been like that. Montana. Montana has voted red in every election cycle since 2000, with red winning at least 51% or more, and that 51% is the closest, which was in the 2008 election, 51 to 49. All the other elections have been by 57% or more. Nebraska has also voted red in every election since 2000, with at least 58% or more. Nebraska does do the congressional district method with voting, so in 2008, the red got four of their votes, the blue got one, and then in 2020 and 2024, it was the same thing. Red got four of their electoral votes, and blue got one. Nevada. So Nevada voted red in 2000 and 2004, and then from 2008 to 2020, they voted blue, and then in 2024, they voted red again. As you can see, the elections in Nevada have been pretty close during most years, except for 2008, where it was 56 to 44. New Hampshire. So New Hampshire voted red in 2000, but since then they have voted blue in every election. But the New Hampshire elections are another state that are pretty close every year. One year could just be the year that it goes the other direction. As you can see in 2016, it was 50% to 50% with about a 3,000 vote difference. New Jersey. So New Jersey has voted blue in every election since 2000. Um, usually by 58%, 57%, 59%, but in 2004 and 2024, it was by 53% to 47%. New Mexico has voted blue in every election since 2000, except in 2004 where they voted red, but that was a very close election with about a 6,000 vote difference. 
And the 2000 election was also very, very close with about a 300 vote difference. You will see that I added this 10% here in New Mexico for the 2016 election because that was 74,000 votes, which could have changed the direction of the election. New York has voted blue in every election since 2000 by at least 56% or more. But this 56% in 2024 is the closest election that they have had since 2000. North Carolina has voted red in every election except the 2008 election where they voted blue, but it was a very close election, pretty much 50% to 50%, with about 14,000 votes separating the red from the blue. North Carolina, though, is now considered a swing state because their elections are so close every year now, you don't know what's going to happen. North Dakota has voted red in every election since 2000, with at least 54% or more of the vote going red. Moving on to Ohio. So Ohio voted red in 2000 and 2004, then they voted blue in 2008 and 2012, and then they switched back to red since 2016. So Ohio used to be considered a swing state, now it's kind of considered a safe red state here at the 56%. But you can see some of these elections have been really close, 48%, 49%, 52%. Um, so they have been some, there have been some close elections in Ohio. Oklahoma. So Oklahoma has voted red in every election since 2000, with the red winning by at least 61% or more. Oregon. So Oregon has voted blue in every election since 2000, um, with blue winning by 52% or more since 2004. But in 2000, it was a pretty close race with about a 7,000 vote difference between blue and red. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a swing state. So in 2000, 2004, 2008, 2012, they voted blue. In 2016, it was red. In 2020, it was blue. And in 2024, it was red. So you can see their elections are usually pretty close, and they are a highly watched state on election night. Rhode Island. Rhode Island has voted blue in every election since 2000, with at least 57% or more of the vote going blue. South Carolina. South Carolina has voted red in every election since 2000, with at least 55% or more of the vote going red. South Dakota has also voted red in every election since 2000, with at least 54% or more of the vote each year or each election cycle going red. Tennessee. So Tennessee has voted red in every election since 2000, with at least 52% or more of the vote going red. Texas. So Texas has voted red in every election since 2000, with at least 53% or more of the vote going red. Utah has also voted red in every election since 2000, with at least 61% or more of the vote going red, and in 2012, it was up to 75% of the vote. Vermont has voted blue in every election since 2000, with at least 55% or more of the vote going blue. Virginia voted red in 2000 and 2004, and has voted blue since 2008. So you can see some of these races have been pretty close within five percentage points of each other. So Virginia is a state that is also highly watched on election night. Washington has voted blue since 2000 in every election with 53% or more of the vote going blue. West Virginia has voted red in every election since 2000 with at least 53% or more of the vote going red. Wisconsin voted blue in 2000, 2004, 2008, and 2012. They voted red in 2016, they voted blue in 2020, and they voted red in 2024. So as you can see, most of Wisconsin's races are in that like 50% to 50% within a couple thousand votes of each other. Wyoming has voted red in every election since 2000 with at least 67% or more of the vote going red. And Washington, D.C., has voted blue in every election since 2000 with at least 90% of the vote or more going blue. So after looking at the data, since 2000, 16 states have voted blue in every election, 20 states have voted red in every election, and 15 states have been mixed. And when I say the 16 states voted blue, that also inclu adding, that includes Washington, D.C. And 15 states have been mixed, sometimes red, sometimes blue. So what are your thoughts about the graphs today? Did anything shock you? Did anything not shock you? Some of the states that I saw, like when I was looking at the data, 
some things I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I know this state's going to vote this way. And I know this state's going to vote this way. But there are some others that I was like, oh, I didn't know that that's how that state voted in 2000. Or I don't remember that state voting that way in 2012. So give me your thoughts, give me your comments below, and we'll see you next time.